This is McCook's Mr. Bills. An honor to have you here. Have you ever considered buying a used camera? Buying a used camera. Now I have purchased five used cameras over the last 15 years. With that in mind, only one of those five was less than perfect. The other four were in great shape and they lasted for an awful long time. A good example is this Nikon 14 power. It'll reach out there and capture a nice photo of wildlife or perhaps of a bad guy or maybe somebody in McCook doing something they shouldn't be doing at a time and a place they shouldn't be doing it. With that in mind, it's always good to have long range photography as well as it makes good films as far as that goes. Absolutely. And it's lasted a long time and it was used for less than $75 that would have been a $150 camera otherwise. Keep that in mind. Another camera that I purchased used years and years ago and I made over 300 short films with that camera. Over 300 short films of the 900 that I've made. 300 were made with a camera that looked just like this. And what was so nice about it and why I enjoyed it and wanted it so badly even though I bought a used one because I couldn't afford uh, the, the brand new ones that were running about $150. I bought one back then for $75 and what was made it so special though, what have made it so special if I can get it to kick on here, there it is, and as you can see from the front you can see yourself in the camera you can center yourself up and down wherever you want to get in the shot or off to the side so that you can put something on the side showing something with you still in the frame. It shows you where you are. Worth its weight in gold. Kind of a selfie for films if you will. Of course it will do still shots as well. It is a great little camera and again I got it used and it lasted for an awful long time till finally I smudged the lens and it was done. And I then since purchased one from Amazon. I looked at the seller and he had a good rating. That tells you a lot. I then took and I looked at the camera and he said that it was used like new. And it was for $49 and I purchased it. And it is nothing short of a blessing. It looks brand new and it has all the functions working just right for me. And I hope that it lasts a long time. I'd be very grateful if I can get 300 films out of this one. But that's some of the things I've had and done with used cameras. And as far as just taking films or still shots, I still have probably about as many purple ribbons, uh, county ribbons, on photos that I've taken to the county fair. I've entered some a international amateur photography contests and won. So it can be done with an inexpensive used camera. And the major thing is, are you, do you have the camera ready? And wherever you are, every once in a while, every once in a while, there's a shot that might just propel you and give you bragging rights on a great photo. keep that in mind or even a film maybe a storm comes through what have you you might get a film that nobody else is going to have but you for your own enjoyment or put them on YouTube like I do or maybe even go into business this is something worth doing I'd finish it with this that I have taken and filmed made interviews of elderly people and then they passed away and their families didn't know I'd done it and for free, I gave them that so that they could see their relatives still alive and speaking. Because one of the real tragedies when someone dies is you never get to see them again alive and never get to hear them. Or perhaps some of their stories. And so I did that for numerous people and I still do it today. Anybody that wants it, I'll do it. And I do it for free. And that's something maybe you could do for your community as well. Thank you for your time.